Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, All About BA. In this session, I am going to tell you how to validate the structure of the file um, before we process the input file. Okay. For example, you have an input file in a folder and you want to validate the structure uh, with an agreed upon structure and uh, just you are going to validate if uh, uh, the input file is uh, all good and uh, it matches with the expected structure and so we can process the file that's what you are going to validate if uh, uh, there is no match or there are changes to the input file structure then you are not going to process it okay <coughs> i'm sorry so for example you have an input file and you are going to validate the structure using get metadata activity what we are going to do is we are going to read the structure of the input file as well as we are going to read the structure of the reference file so this reference file is nothing but it is the gold copy file which uh, has the structure expected expected structure you can say okay so only when the input file structure and the reference file structure both match then we are going to uh, do some processing with the input file okay so that's what we are going to do in this video i'll, I'll show you the data lake uh, um, first all right i have an output folder in my demo container inside that i have my input file okay this is called dim product.csv so it will be having a certain structure and i'm going to validate this structure with the reference file which is present in my reference folder okay inside this you have dim product reference.csv so this will uh, this file uh, is going to be used for structure comparison okay so this structure and uh, this particular file structure both will be compared if they are matching we are going to process the input file otherwise we are going to ignore it okay so how do we do it in the data factory all right so we have two get metadata activities one for reading the input file structure another for reading the reference file structure so how do we access the structure properties click on the metadata and go to data set and uh, under the field list just choose the structure okay so this is what is going to give us the structure of the uh, file that is being referenced I will show you the output of the previous one so that you will understand. Structure property will bring me the structure of the whole file being referenced by the data set. Okay, like this. So, name of the column followed by the type of the column. So, it will be uh, bringing the structure details of the file being referenced. Okay. So, after we have gotten uh, the structure of both the files, we are going to use an if condition to check whether both the structures match so for that what we are going to use is a simple expression again so uh, we are going to use the equals method and going to pass two parameters one is the structure of reference file and another is the structure of input file okay so this is what we are going to pass to the equals activity and verify with if both the structures match or not okay if it is going to be matching i will have something in the true part okay if you click on this I will have a copy activity. Okay, so I am going to copy the input file from one folder to another. If it is not matching, that means if it is false or the structures do not match, I am not doing anything. Okay, so the last uh, execution, right, uh, both the files were matching. If you click on uh, this dim product.csv and the reference file, both the structures will be matching. So I will run the pipeline again. If it is matching, what we are asking the pipeline to do is to copy the input file from one folder to the another. Okay, so let it run. It is getting reference file metadata, input file metadata, and it's going to use if condition for comparing, and then it's going to copy. Okay, so while it does that, right? I am going to modify it. Fine, this is what I uploaded earlier. So I am going to add a new column to it. I'll say column one. Okay. This is a tab delimited file, so I will have to uh, enter the values by a tab space. Okay, I will delete rest of the entries for time sake. I am just copying, I mean saving the file. I will validate once whether it reflects my changes. Alright, so I am going to upload this particular file with the changed structure. We have added a new column, right? So this is what we are going to upload now. Alright, uh, by now the pipeline has finished execution. So it has copied the input file from one folder to another because both the structures match. Okay, so right now I am going to um, upload the changed file which has a new column added. 
this is a quite common scenario for uh, uh, many of us while we work in real time right we need to validate the, um, the file structure before we do anything with the file so that's why i wanted to post it one of the subscribers had also asked for the same so i thought i'll do it today all right so i have uploaded it and i will rerun the pipeline now so uh, since the file structure has changed or the input file is bringing me a new column it's not going to do any copy because it will uh, identify that both the structures uh, do not match and hence don't do anything because we haven't given anything in the false part okay so let's wait for it all right the pli pipeline is done so we have just three um, steps okay it, it it is getting the metadata of both the files and if it's checking if it's matching or not since it doesn't match it's not performing the copy activity okay in the previous run we had four steps wherein um, the structures were matching and hence the copy activity was executing in the if condition okay so this is how um, now we process the file and we validate the file before we process actually okay if you have any comments or if you have any such uh, experience you please post it in the comment section it will be helpful for many thanks a lot for watching keep supporting